there is a Chinese saying that for any consequences, there must be a reason. This applies to the waste crisis Hong Kong is facing today. Hong Kong dumps 13,000 tons of garbage each day. The city's three landfill sites are already almost filled up, and the reason for this is the attitude to waste. Plastic bags are sturdy, plentiful, easy to carry, and are one of the cheapest alternatives in terms of its production, which is the reason why it is preferred over biodegradable and eco bags. According to the Arlington, Virginia-based American Plastics Council, plastic bags have come into the market where they have taken over 80% of all grocery and convenience stores when they have been introduced a quarter of a century ago. As a result of this, they are everywhere. They sit balled up in a bag in the pantry room. They are the linings of bathroom trash bins. They clutter the landfills and clog roadside drains. They drift off into the sea and fill the stomachs of sea animals. According to the HKSS, over half of the plastic waste discarded in 2009 were plastic bags and has reached its peak percentage in 2005 of 57% but fell back to 51% in 2008. To elevate this problem, on the 7th of July 2009, the Hong Kong government imposed the very first phase of the environmental levy scheme on plastic shopping bags. Under this levy, citizens must pay 50 cents at the retail level for using a plastic bag. Most plastic bags are not biodegradable and end up in our landfills or floating around in our environment. However, there are three main reasons why people are concerned about the plastic bag waste around the world. Firstly, it takes hundreds of years before plastic bags begin to decompose, and while they are doing so, they release toxins into our soil, lakes, rivers, and oceans. Secondly, littering plastic bags are a great threat to our animals. They strangle and choke wildlife worldwide. Thirdly, the production of these bags require millions of gallons of petroleum, which is affecting our health and environment, and is a huge contributor to global warming. This means that banning it will reduce the carbon dioxide emissions. Plastic bags are made from the chemical form called polyethylene, PE. It is a light, versatile synthetic resin which is made from the polymerization of ethylene. Polyethylene is a member of the family of polyphen resins. It is the most widely used plastic in the world, especially for the creation of plastic bags. It can be slit or spun into synthetic fibers or modified to take on properties of a rubber. The structure of a polyethylene is very simple as it is a single molecule that is repeated thousands of times. A single molecule of polyethylene is a long chain of carbon atoms with two hydrogen atoms attached to each carbon atom. These branched version are known as low density polyethylene and linear versions of this are known as high density polyethylene. Possible plastics have been introduced into the new generation as they are biodegradable. There are several solutions to make degradable bags. One solution is adding an ultraviolet light absorber to make the material degrade when exposed to sunlight. Another solution would be starch. Starch is from corn or potatoes and can be converted into glucose when combined with water. It can be converted into lactic acid, which is polymerized to the biodegradable plastic polylactide. The biodegradable plastic is not hazardous or toxic in production and when composted can be decomposed back into carbon dioxide, water, biomass, and more. When it is biodegrading, the polylactide chain is converted back into starch without releasing carbon dioxide. Bioplastics can take time to compose based on the type of material and the facility it is in. Usually is composted in a commercial composting facility where the plastic can be exposed to higher temperatures. This means that it can be reached within 90 to 180 days. Therefore, biodegradable plastic bags are more successful because it provides an alternative that can be used in the same way but is more friendly towards the environment. However, the production of these bags are more expensive and the production time is much slower. Owners must give a lot of money in order to produce this. According to the Greening Planet, there are three major disadvantages to biodegradable plastics. Firstly, bioplastics are designed to be composted and not recycled. This is because the plant-based materials could contaminate the recycling process if it is not separated from plastics such as soda bottles and milk jugs. Secondly, home composting is not an option. These bioplastics cannot be broken down by the bacteria in our backyard. Only bioplastics that are fully biodegradable will break down into a home composting area, but it could take up to two years for items such as forks and spoons. 
Thirdly, bioplastics are produced from food crops such as corn, potatoes, and soybeans, which could have a big impact as it could contaminate our food supply. Farmers may use big amounts of chemical pesticides and fertilizers that may pollute our air and water. Overall, these industries will increase their demand for these crops and will put pressure on food prices. In conclusion, the two major factors are environmental and social implications. The environmental implication is that it takes a long time for plastic bags to break down when composted. They require more energy to produce, are not made from renewable sources, are toxic as they release chemicals into the soil, and they harm the environment. The social implication is the production of the plastic and its effect on the environment and humans as it releases carbon emissions and is a major contributor to global warming. Weighing out both advantages and disadvantages, I feel that biodegradable bags are the better option as of right now until another solution is found. According to the Natural Resources Defense Council, they state that though plastic bags are very convenient, once in landfills it will never go away. Therefore, biodegradable bags are the best solution to this problem.